We're going to begin with the five minute break that could brighten the mood of holiday shoppers across New York City. The city council is granting ticket fatigued drivers a cushion at thousands of parking meters, a cushion the mayor says will lead to chaos. CBS 2's Lou Young with the controversial new parking grace period. Trying to block the ticket blitz, the city council demands a five minute grace period for drivers caught by the clock. The bill's sponsors say the city should stop playing gotcha with us at street side parking meters and especially in those alternate side of the street parking zones. They certainly feel like gotcha tickets. If you're getting a ticket at 9.01 when it went into effect 9 o'clock, that feels like somebody's been waiting at your car to give you a summons. If you're not familiar with alternate side of the street parking, it's the narrow window that comes by every couple of days. It turns a perfectly legal parking spot into an illegal one so they can clean the street. One day on this side, the other on the alternate side. It can be difficult to keep track of, and the people who enforce the rules can be maddeningly efficient. How prompt are they? That's the only thing you can count on around here. Everything else goes. Of 1.4 million alternate side tickets written in 2007, 300,000 were quick tickets issued in the first five minutes and 28,000 within seconds after the clock ran out, which has some suggesting the city's in this mostly for the money. What's happening here is the public uh, is being over-ticketed because the city of New York is looking to uh, generate additional revenue. Today's legislation would apply to computerized time-stamped parking meters and the alternate side zones. The mayor, though, calls the mandated five-minute grace period misguided. This has to do with making everybody feel good, but in fact creating chaos for the traffic agents. Um, and they're sitting there and they're going to say, well, my watch said five minutes, and you're going to say your watch is wrong. The mayor says he'll veto the parts of the legislation he doesn't like, but council leaders say they have enough votes to override. As usual, you and I are in the middle, and this guy, and that's going to cost him. We're on the Upper West Side tonight. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. The measure passed the city council by an overwhelming vote of 47 to 2. The mayor's veto could come later this week.